Now at 5.30, marijuana, tolls, and sports betting. These are all big talkers this year in Hartford, overshadowing other things that lawmakers are considering, including funding to help the disabled. Chief Capitol reporter Susan Raff, she is live right now at the state capitol with more details on all this. Hi, Susan. Hi, Mark. The governor's budget includes a lot of money for a lot of things, but a lot of people are concerned about the nonprofits, which there is some money in the budget for them. But those who run programs for those with disabilities say they've been flat funded for years, and that amounts to cuts. So I showed them my certification. They said, oh, but you're deaf. How are you going to do this job? Young Leung wanted to be a sushi chef at a casino, but he needed help. We had the opportunity to have a conversation with two couples who are deaf. They have lived and worked in the Norwich area for years. All of them say the Disabilities Network of Eastern Connecticut has helped them in many ways. And so now I get mail, I don't understand what it means, and so I bring it to Danny, she helps read through it to me. Bryn Hickey is an outreach coordinator. Danny Guy is an advocate. They work closely with the deaf to help them communicate with those who aren't. There she is. Thanks to technology, they have video phones where they can communicate with sign language, but they need assistance to communicate with their employers, landlords, and others. Deaf and hearing people are equal. We're not above or below each other. Just because I can't hear, uh, uh, that's all that's wrong with me. Independent living centers receive federal and state funding. The need for these services continues to grow, but the money is spread thin. Bryn came to Hartford trying to talk to lawmakers. Her clients depend on these services, and they say the money is well spent. Our budgets uh, do not get increased because they don't see us. Deaf people need to come here, people with disabilities need to come here and speak to the legislators and come and testify at the hearings so that they see us. We're in their faces. They don't forget about us. We are told that these independent living centers are short about $200,000. That doesn't seem like a lot of money. What can they do? Well, they can certainly have fundraisers, but that can take time. We are live in Hartford. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.